welcome back to the channel guys thank you guys for tuning in somebody does not want this information to get out they don't want it to get out i'm telling you because every time i start to do this reading there's some type of distraction whether it's my child somebody calling whatever the case may be but we're gonna get this information out regardless because there's somebody who has been watching you with this four swords energy because i already had this out on the table because i was already doing a reading but i'm going to explain it and put it back in the deck so there's somebody who has been watching you um and going back to some type of practitioner and asking this practitioner like what's going on why i paid you for this to happen but it's not happening like what's going on and then they're in a very sneaky energy. So they're doing this in a sneaky way. I feel like this person is, they may not be right next to you right now, but they were. This is somebody that's very close to you or were very close to you because with this person's shoes off going up these steps, it reminds me of 111 when you were a child or if a man's coming home late and he doesn't want his wife to know that he's, you know, coming in late and he has to go up the stairs. So he takes off, so he takes off his shoes to climb the stairs so you can't really hear him coming right or them coming whoever this is just what that's reminding me of so this is a sneaky energy somebody that's around you somebody that was cloaked and i feel like their cloak is coming off and i feel like this person was very determined to cause some type of tower in your life here with the nine of pentacles but they see that you continue you're just you're more determined than them so they're very determined to destroy you, but you're you're more determined to do God's will. I'm hearing you're more determined to be pleasing in God's sight, to to get things done for your children. And you have very powerful spirit guides. I'm seeing Ganesh here, energy of Ganesh. I'm hearing Krishna, Yeshua. You have a very powerful spirit team, 212, and ascended masters who protect you and guide you and watch over you. So I feel like this person was continuously going to see 222 spiritual practitioners, different things of that nature to cause a tower moment in your life. And to me, what's happening is I feel like this energy is backfiring. So they're seeing the effects of it in their life and not so much in your life here. I'm hearing planting seeds of doubt. So with the five of wands, I feel like this is somebody that's very jealous of you, very destructive inside. They like to dress themselves up, doll themselves up to look like they're such this beautiful person. But really, this is what they look like inside. This is what their spirit looks like inside. Very destructive energy, very jealous energy. I feel like these people with the five of wands next to the three of wands, that's the eight of wands, which is communication, which is travel. I feel like these people travel to get stuff done. And I feel like this may be three people at the most that is really going to see heavy karma here. Three people, three wolves. So wolves in sheep clothing. These people are like ravenous wolves seeking who they can devour here. And you being likened to the goat, it's like they looked at you like you're naive or something like that. And they had set this trap for you. They set some sort of trap for you and it didn't go as planned. I feel like you you dodged a bullet, you quickly realized something. And, and this may be four people. It could be four to eight people. Four to four to seven people. Three to seven people. This could be that's gonna get this main karma. So I feel like these people with this five and this three of wands was traveling to get this, like I said, this work done on you. Getting tarot readings done on you um, to block your destiny here. Like I said, uh, these people got the seven of, seven of swords, seven of pentacles here, nine of swords. I feel like these people invested in your demise, constantly throwing negativity, black magic. This is what these swords are to bring this storm into your life, to bring you to the five of pentacles energy, to bring you to your knees. These people felt as though they needed to humble you here. This is what they felt. So I'm going to put these back and start this reading over. So nobody thinks that I just laid them cards out just to speak on it. 
So there is an energy of a supernatural defeat and people realizing that you are more powerful than they thought that you are who you say you are. What is this um, This sneaky energy, cloaked energy right around the collective? Um, get your refund, motherfuckers, because I ain't there yet. I seen him. I seen forbidden. I seen hand of God. It's like you didn't deserve this. You didn't deserve what this was that was being done to you. I seen voodoo doll. You didn't deserve it because you really have a pure heart. Um, look at that hand of God again. Missing you. I feel like whatever they were shooting at you, whatever this negativity, it was missing you because you had the hand of God over your life. We have Psalms 23, 9, and 23 and 10, which is. It's the prayer. It's even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I should fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I think it's he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I'm not sure the whole prayer, which I need to remember, but this is that energy of even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil for the most high God, the hand of God is with you. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. So these people could have planned to stab you. Right? We have paranoia. We have war. I'm picking up the energy of There could have been a point in time where you were paranoid about this situation. This stab, I'm getting backstabbed. Somebody backstabbed you here. War, I feel like they tried to, to wage war over your life, a spiritual war. This is a spiritual war you have been going through here. And now these people are paranoid because this is definitely their energy where now they're paranoid. Because that war that they tried to wage over your life is now manifest in their life. Because even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, which is this war. You walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The Most High is saying, you shall fear no evil. It's no need for you to be paranoid. It's no need for you to, because the Most High God is with you. Look, my op. You follow the laws of my op. They don't. Put that my eye out there. It's nothing for you to fear. And now there's a war because. So my act is. Oh, look at that. Sun exposure. Underneath that it said meditate now. So the 42 laws of my act. You are in balance with those laws of my act. These people are, are not. I definitely feel like these people try to attack you at night, possibly when you're sleeping. So my op means truth, justice, balance, and harmony. My heart is a fundamental philosophical, con philosophical, philosophical concept permeating every aspect of ancient Egyptian culture. Though no single word can encompass all its complex meanings, my eye is often translated as truth, justice, balance, and harmony. So I feel like um, they waged war on a person of my eye, of a person of truth, justice, balance, and harmony here. And now these people were paranoid because they're being exposed. Look at that. We have meditate now. Return underneath that. I feel like all this demonic energy that they put out against you is returning to them. You may be meditating and these people may be, be being exposed through meditation. I definitely feel like there is a spiritual war going on that you need to stay in this my eye energy, you need to stay focused because I see him staying focused at the bottom of the deck. And the most high that you know that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. For the most high God is with you because you are this my eye energy here. I feel like we have a group of people. This says group chat, but this is a group of people who is very paranoid. We have haters gonna hate. Exactly. We have a group of people who these people are paranoid. 
because of what they've done. Look, positive thinking. You have to, you have to continue to be positive here. Continue to think positive. It's, it's a war out here on people's mentals, on their minds, on their bodies, on their souls here. And these demonic forces are using these people's vests, vessels to come up against you here. I'm hearing something about a vest. Look, we have Yeshua. Yeshua coming out next to my eye. Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus, if you don't know him as that. This is... This is the energy that Yeshua was in. He was in the energy of Maha, truth, justice, fairness, balance. And this is the energy that you were in. And this is why Yeshua looks after you. This is why these many ascended masters look after you, missing you. These haters are missing you. But every plot and plan that they tried to cause destruction over your life, it misses you because you have the hand of God over. Look at that. Chosen. Because you're chosen by the Most High God. You were chosen to come on this earth to do a particular thing. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on, give me a second. So we have Juggernaut that continues to come out. And as I keep saying, Juggernaut is coming out with positive thinking. This positive thinking allows you to defeat these people because the Juggernaut is likened to Krishna. It is Krishna. But this Juggernaut energy is about... So the Marvel character, Juggernaut... He wore a psychic, um, he wore a psychic helmet that allowed him to block out, it says a huge, powerful, and overwhelming force or institution. But there's also a juggernaut. K. Marco is a fictional character appearing in Marvel comics and books, and it says... That he, his strength, the juggernaut possesses vast physical strength, which exact limit is unknown, but he is able to lift far in excess of 100 tons of effort. He is one of the strongest beings to ever walk the earth. This is the energy. You are one of the strongest beings to ever walk the earth. Now let's talk about his helmet. Juggernaut helmet. Because I want y'all to understand how this positive thinking. So Juggernaut's helmet is a special form of headgear designed to protect the wearer from all forms of telepathy. Right? He possesses superhuman strength and durability and is also virtually immune to most physical attacks. His helmet also protects him from mental attacks. So these people were trying to mentally attack to wage, wage war on your mental here. And... The most high, these different um ascended beings, Yeshua, they were they were protecting you, they were helping you to stay positive. We're missing you next to this juggernaut energy. Those those attacks that they were trying to um send to you, send to your mental, we're missing you. We got a supernatural defeat. You are more powerful than you know. So there was a supernatural defeat here. And these people are wondering how you did this. How you, because they think that they know you. Oh, this is my sister, 1331. This is my brother. This is this person. I know them. They, they, they can't stand against this. But if they didn't know, I'm hearing it. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Excuse my language. So if they didn't know before, who you were, they damn sure know now. Look at that. Went broke paying for magic. Went broke paying for magic. Voodoo doll. Angel numbers underneath that. The angels were warning you of these people. These people spent so much money. And this is why this is a supernatural defeat. They were doing forbidden things. Things that you couldn't even imagine to try to defeat you. Because every time, look at that, protect it. God provides. God provides protection for you because you because you follow the laws of my odds. You have a pure heart. Look, karma. Karma. You have good karma. They have the karma that they put out. Look at that. The hand of God. And then the other one says spitting food because these people tried to poison your food. Like I said, they were doing, I'm hearing, egregious. 
don't even know what that means. Lies. Telling egregious lies. I need to look that up. Gang stalking you. Now they realize this, this was a mistake. This was a big mistake that they made because they didn't know exactly how powerful you are. They didn't know exactly how protected that you were. And now this shit is taking a toll on their life and they wishing that they never fucking done it. We have July 4th. We have the name Shelby Shelly Sally. Look, family, I seen Target. These people were targeting you because they seen your greatness. But they didn't know your power. And you walked away from this family. There could have been someone doing a love spell on you or someone else that caused them to walk away from you. We have moon hidden. With this fraud energy, I feel like somebody was a fraud. Look, went broke with paying for magic. I was just about to say, it could have been telling people you were a fraud. That you were a fraud. And that you weren't who you claimed to be. You weren't this spiritual person. You... You were this, you were that, speaking of your past, how you used to be, not understanding that your past is what brought you to who you are today. <laughs> how funny is that, right? We got a sister here, a sister showing up. Look at that. We got protected. You were being protected from this mental disturbance. Even though this says brother, I'm seeing bother. Bother. So you were being protected from this mental disturbance. The, the the ancestors, the ascended masters, they will not let this this shit bother you. But there may be a brother that is delusional or a brother that was calling you delusional, saying you were delusional, saying that you needed help, saying that you were mentally unstable. We have new earth. No, nah, you're somebody who's building a new earth. You're somebody that's going to make it to the new earth. You're actually going to make it to the new earth. A lot of these people are not going to make it to the new earth. A lot of these people did very forbidden things, said very horrible, horrific things about you, and it was not right. They had no look at that forbidden. They did very forbidden things against the gifted one. Somebody who did not deserve that. Somebody who they know didn't deserve that. You helped these people out. These people would gather together have conversations about you talk about you plan to poison your food it, it was it was so horrible that it was like a spit in your food like a slap in your face and now the mask is coming off of these people now they're being seen for who they are so the mask could be coming off of a sister and you could be seeing the truth about a sister here look delilah and samson this sister is likened to Delilah and Samson, somebody who's trying to take somebody's power. This person was somebody who was super close to you here. And the whole time, this person was plotting against you, plotting against your downfall, trying to steal your abundance of Jupiter. Now, this is the time. There's a reset going on. This is the time for things to be exposed here. It's the time. This is the time that things are going to be exposed car accidents, people's death that was caused behind them playing with this magic. Um, look, party life. All these people wanted to do was party. And now I feel like they're having, this is having effects on them. You, you did what you needed to do to get to where you're going. And these people didn't even want to work hard to get to where they're going, but wanted to take something from you. Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. Taurus Virgo. We have hearing voices. This could be a Capricorn facing karma for hearing voices. We have Ogun influence. So Ogun could be influencing this energy of this person hearing these damn voices. They could, they could be saying, they could have been saying that you were hearing voices here. We have seven reset. Exactly. I mean, ooh, it says seven rest, but I seen it as reset. But seven rest. This person, this person can't get any damn rest because they're fucking hearing voices. So they can't get any rest. They're being exposed. We have meditate. We have return and demonic. This demonic energy is being returned to them. It's being returned to sender. Look at that. We have five D. Anoints it. 999. I feel like this cycle is being closed out here. You're moving to 5D. You're anointed to move to 5D. You're blessed to move to 5D. You're able to move to 5D. And this this demonic energy is being returned to these people to deal with, to these family members to deal with, to these people with these player hating degrees that was hating on you of low vibration. We have eternal and lifetime. So for the rest of this lifetime, these people will be dealing with this situation that they tried to 
um, they will get no rest. There's no rest for the wicked. These people could have been trying to influence you to hear voices. Doing this spell work so that you could hear voices. Anything else? We have pray. Fraud and family secrets. So this family could have been preying on you here. Or pray for these family secrets to be exposed. A lot of these people were frauds. A lot of these people were planning against you here. We have Saturn. Now they're getting karma. Because the truth is coming out about a situation. We have abortion. I'm hearing abort, abort mission. Or these people could have been telling people how every time you turn around you're getting abortion or something. Telling people your motherfucking business. We have Ramada in here. Telling people that you're, you're always at a hotel room or something. Every other, um, that you living in a hotel room, we got Ogun aggression. So Ogun, they're facing Ogun's aggression. Then we have stay in focus. So you stay focused in this situation. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One of them could be relevant. We have sacrifice. So they could be getting the aggression of Ogun for trying to sacrifice you here. We have herbs. So you could be into herbs here. Or... Needing to put a lot of herbs into your body. You could be a herbalist or something like that here. We have went broke pan for magic again. We have dad's side. So the dad side could have went broke pan for magic at dad's side. We have narc. I feel like your pops could be a narc or this could be a family full of narcs. We have fire spirit. Facebook, social media, and cold. This group of people, this family of yours is a cult. Somebody joined the cult. But maybe it's so many of them that spirit is looking at them like a cult. Twenty-two scammer at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's a scammer, or could have been saying you were a scammer. But we have spying. These people are spying on you, and definitely trying to influence your life. So let's get into this energy. I'm hearing that the cloak's coming off. At the future mask off. The cloak could be coming, the mask could be coming off of these people who have been working against you. Because here they are with the mask working, and then here they are without one. So the mask is coming off of these people who have been working against you, these family members, friends, people you were dating here, working against you, trying to block you, trying to cause you mental instability, trying to cause you, trying to bring you down when you're flying high, trying to cause you not to be able to know which way that you should go in life. Talk to a spirit. What's going on? What's going on? Steady, are you ready? People are feeling the effects of their party life. Things that they thought would never come upon them. Their worst nightmares. Look, seven of Swords. Mask off. You see this person got tricked. This person's wearing a mask. Appearing to be one thing, but they're not. This may be heartbreaking for you to see to know or to find out that these people around you have been wearing a mask and all along they've been trying to cause you a tower in your life and this is who they really are this destructive energy or somebody else is, is finding out that that's who somebody was in their life king of cups that they took the wrong lover as well what is this cold energy spirit I know that I had a dream about this satanic coat. They were all standing with red lace dresses on. And they had like the green, like the contacts in that people wear for Halloween. 
um, the glow in the dark contacts, and they were in this swamp area, the swamp region. And me and some other people in the dream, we, we wandered into the swamp. I don't know how we got into the swamp, but we were all asking, like, oh no, we believe in God, and we and we hauled ass up out of there. And they were chanting, they were in like choir unison, and we ended up going back to this house, running to this house, and these two two of the cult members tried to chase after us. And when they got to the door, they tried to blow something in the door, like some type of smoke. And spirit, me, I don't know, blew it back out. And these cult members just dropped to the floor. They dropped. I don't know if they died or what happened to them, but they just dropped to the floor. And then there was this little girl who appeared with a teddy bear. She a teddy bear and the detective showed up and found this little girl. I don't know if people been hiding kids in a basement, trying to sacrifice kids, but or trying to do this to you since you were a child. Let's see, spirit, what's going on? They're being exposed here. This person who's been by your side, acting like they were supporting you, and they they were giving you support, but really, we got the seven of cups in reverse here. So you're coming out of confusion. That's what I'm getting. You're coming out of confusion about this situation, about who's who, about this person who's been wearing a mask or about this person who's been traveling to do this magic on you. You see, this person has found out a discovery. They've discovered something. You see, they've discovered something. You're coming out of confusion. It was almost like a confusion spell was casted over you but it's broken you're coming out of it somebody wants to be here and was trying to figure it out figure out how they could steal your spiritual gift steal your success look here they are they're wondering how can i do it what can they do hello Hey, Liz. Um, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, I was thinking about the Medicaid card. Um, do you have the HRA app? Access HRA? Yeah, but there's no information on there with it. No, because, uh, yeah, because I was asking Miss Owens, and she was saying that maybe on the HRA app, no. we did No, we didn't. Me and Miss Crystal did all of that stuff. You did? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. We called. We called Medicaid. We looked on a. We looked on the website as well. On the HRA app, it's not on there um, either. But I was gonna say when I come down today, I'll show you. We can look. Oh yeah, I've been there. I've been there multiple times, but that that specific place, that one doesn't give any um cards out. Yeah, we've been we've been working on this. We've been trying. But I'm gonna show you when I get down there. I'll give you it so you can look. Maybe I'm uh looking past it. Miss Crystal did. Yeah. Okay, they told me it was the 19th. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
there is so many distractions going on i told you they don't want this reading to come out but i'm gonna get this reading out anyway so as i was saying with the seven of cups energy you are coming out of confusion you're no longer confused about these energies that's been around you what's been going on who's been playing in your energy field And somebody is a little upset that you are realizing this. Exactly. They've said that you're finding out. Look, you're putting a light to something. You're able to see who's been trying to put you in poverty, who's been stealing from you, who's been trying to put you in ill health. I feel like it's somebody that's been acting like they've been trying to help you, but all along they really weren't. Yeah, I feel like you're finding out who's been drying up your field, your growth, your fruits, who's been trying to stop your growth because I'm seeing this tree. Look, your ten of pentacles, who's been trying to stop your success, stop you from getting some type of inheritance. You're realizing who's been causing all this death around you because this is giving me the energy of winter when all the leaves fall off the trees here. And the worst part is it doesn't look too cold outside. So I feel like you're no longer confused about these energies, about these people who have been trying to cause a spiritual death as well. You've been trying to block your creative abilities. Your manifestations. Queen of Wands. Yeah, your, your creative spark, your ambition. Who's been trying to block this ambition of yours? You could be a Leo, very sad. You don't have to be. Kind of story at the bottom of the deck. This could be the person who's been trying to block you. This always we always said. We have the world. Capricorn towards Virgo. This person has been trying to keep you stuck in some type of cycle. They didn't want to see you get out of some type of cycle. person didn't want to see you flourish they were trying to control you trying to control your manifestations look six of pentacles trying to control what came in for you rewards that came in for you this is also about a person who's been traveling around to get spell work done on you paying to have spell work done on you, you got the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck they didn't want you to have this ten of cups happy family happy life energy this person has been giving money, paying money, giving sacrifices to for some type of spiritualist to try to control you and your manifestations here. King of Swords energy. This is who they've been possibly paying to do this. Or this is a Libra energy who's been doing this. person may have been cloaked look there they are the 
you're definitely coming out of confusion, I feel like, about somebody who has been acting as if they were some type of support in your life. But really, they weren't. They were, I feel like this person was very jealous of you. Trying to control your manifestations, trying to control your life, trying to control. I'm hearing a sex worker. Not that I have anything against anybody, but somebody that possibly does things for money. I'm getting it. This person thinks that you think that you're better than them. Jealousy. A lot of jealousy here. This person thought they had a hold on you. And the most high had to come in and pull you from around. The snake had themselves wrapped around you. But I'm also getting this person has been traveling around the world or traveling to different places and finding spiritual practitioners to do this work on you here. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. And you had a four of swords in justice. Y'all feel like this person is receiving karma for what they've done. This person thought that they were sneaky. They thought that they were getting away with something. But they're not. And I love you that way. So in love with person could be wanting to apologize for trying to fall through depression or because they're having some type of mental issues or they're depressed or something like that. I'm going to try the seven of cups in reverse spirit. I'm not going to take all of these, but I do want to look at them. Yeah, I feel like you're coming out of confusion about the fact that somebody was using magic to try to fuck with your finances, join some type of cult here or something. They traveled to pay some type of spiritualist or whatever to um, block you from moving forward here with the Six of Swords energy. And like I said, this person was trying to hide, so you weren't able to see where they were. But like I said, you're coming out of confusion. And you're able to see clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Clarify the seven of cups in reverse. Two of swords. Exactly. You're coming out of confusion. You're coming out of mental conflict. You're able to see who's been planning, who's been plotting against you. Who's been taking your items, doing spell work on them, or whatever the case may be. You're able to see who's been trying to block your path, trying to block your way here. You see it clearly. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Use your magic with this Ace of Wands to try to block you and your creative, creative abilities as well. Ace of Wands, we have the Hierophant. Exactly, using this, this spiritualist to dry up, to cause a desert in your life, in your love life, and trying to bind you to them as well, spiritually. Acting like they come in peace. Acting like they were a peaceful person of love, but really all along they were doing this spell work against you, doing this black magic work against you. They wanted to dry up your finances. They wanted to dry up creative, creative ability and block your intuition here. Clarify the Queen of Wands. I don't know, this Queen of Wands energy. I'm not really feeling that. Or this is. I'm not feeling this Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands. See? This is somebody that's competing with you. This Queen of Wands. Jealous of you. Jealous of your success here. Wanted your position. Wanted your place. Wanted your crown. 
Now can't nobody hold me down. Oh no, I've got to keep on moving. This person may have gotten spiritually married to someone here. Person definitely definitely does for your success. They wanted to block it. They wanted to block your creative abilities here. What about the world? I feel like you had some type of grandfather here who was protecting you from this jealous energy who was trying to control your world. Trying to create illusions in your life. Clarify the world, please. It's also been a Capricorn and a Queen of and a, and a Fire Sign Aries Leo Sag. They could be facing karma for what they've done. I'm definitely here and travel around the world to do magic. Travel. I feel like this person is watching you and they're frustrated here because we have the empress the queen of swords here this person was jealous that that you are this empress this divine being possibly that this they knew that this person that they were with really wanted to be with you And they, they wanted to block that in any way that they could. I feel like this person wants some type of smoke with you. I feel like they're watching you and they're frustrated here. Because what they've did, they've been praying on your downfall, and I feel like it's not working. I feel like you're at peace, and they don't like that. They don't want you to be at peace. They want you to be enraged, upset, chaotic, but you're not. No matter what they do, you're just not. You get the five of cups and the six of pentacles. See, they regret paying this person, traveling around, spending money to do this spell work with the six of pentacles. And somebody also, this emperor, regrets leaving you behind for this other person. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. King of Wands energy. Yeah, they want to leave this, this person behind. Because they realize with the Six of Wands that I feel like somebody told them some type of lie with this King of Swords energy. You see their hand, they got the truth. Somebody gave them the truth about something. Something was exposed here. Clarify this King of Swords. There was some type of lie here told about you. Something's backfiring. I fall from your grace. We got King of Swords. We got the Three of Cups. So this could be this third party. They could be upset or. This King of Swords may be upset with this third party. Mm. 
I know you got the magic touch. Four, four, three, four. Or somebody celebrated too soon here. They regret. This King of Swords regret pan. Or this King of Swords regret walking away from you. Yep, look. Turn their back on somebody. Or this is them wanting to cut off this third party because they realize that this person lied the fool they feel like a fool for leaving you behind for doing something impulsive taking a leap of faith towards this third party yeah that person was a burden to them now they want to go back to the past now they hurt Now you moved away from this person. This person is watching you in frustration. Because all this plotting they did against you is not working. Nine of Wands here. Because you're still standing. You're a warrior. may have gotten communication that you're in a new relationship or something somebody else is helping you somebody is protecting you you don't have to fight anymore you got your spark back something could have backfired here yeah i'm still standing what is this man Six of Cups. Yeah, they're looking back at the past. This person can be frustrated because the person that they're dealing with, this Divine Masculine, wants to take a leap of faith back to this past person, take a leap of faith back to you, wants to leave them behind because they realize how toxic this person is. And they could be struggling financially as well. Let's clarify this justice energy here. Justice. The reason is they're going to the spiritual act and what's going on is because they're feeling the wrath. They're getting karma for what they've done. Heavy burdens. I don't want to do What is this justice energy? Justice energy. Justice energy. Page of Wands. Yes, yeah, some type of communication or I'm also getting like you've you're successful at something you've beat this spell work or this spiritual war this spell work that they have been doing against you this is the information that they got that this person got that they're so upset about because you've overcome this spiritual war here yeah this confirmation look victory it says victory Clarify this page of wands with justice. He got some type of communication. That's what the person told him. Like, I don't know how this person does it, who they are, but I'm hearing. Um, is that MC Hammer can't touch this? Page of wands and justice, please. Yeah. Success. Cherry. You're too strong for these people. You're very tapped in, very successful. No matter what mountains these people try to put in your way, you rise above it. Clarify the four swords, and they want to know why their life is turning to shit. Because all the energy, and it's because you are the energy of justice. You are that Libra energy. We got um, Taurus, Libra here, Capricorn. Cancer. Clarify the forces. All those mental attacks they threw at you are being returned to them. That's why they're having this mental anguish. Clarify the forces, please. 
six of coins. Exactly. What goes around comes around. And like I said, they're going back to this person and they're wondering why what they paid them for is not happening. And it's because you rose above it. And it's because the most high sits high and looks low. Four pentacles. Four, four. The energy of lack that they tried to put you in, they're now in. Look at that. Five of pentacles. It's Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They were working a group of people, a circus, a group of people working together, collaborating to basically a cult to put you in this black energy and you will overcome it. Spiritual warrior, you will overcome it. So that's it for this reading. Thank you guys for tuning in. Namaste. Peace.